so Derby Business TV is here today with Jazz Rye of Jazz Rye Beauty. Hello. Hi Jazz, lovely to see you. So Jazz, um, you've recently started your business, mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about your background. Okay, I'm a pharmacist and I have trained as an independent prescribing pharmacist. Um, I did that within the University of Derby. Um, and then I've gone on to train in Botox and dermal fillers um, in the foundation and advanced course as well. Um, I used to do my work from Hilton and at Hilton Pharmacy also, and I've now moved towards City Centre at Crow Studios on Great Northern Road. And has that been a good move for you so far? Brilliant, yeah. Excellent. Uh, brilliant for my clients because it's easy for parking, easy access, and it's close to the city centre. So tell us a little bit, why, why did you come into this particular business? Okay, I moved into the aesthetics field because I felt that I have an eye for beauty, um, and it was something that I was very interested in. There's been a lot of bad press with regards to Botox and dermal fillers, um, and as a pharmacist, I have the ethics behind me and the um, work procedures where I know that I can provide a good service to my people and make sure they're well looked after. And presumably, it's quite a competitive area, but your yeah. pharmacy background, yeah. I would have thought, gives you quite a competitive edge. Definitely. I'm one of very few pharmacists in the UK who's trained in this line of work. Really? Yeah. And I believe that my clinical experience gives me a little bit more in comparison to some of the other people that I'm competing with. Um, so I can look at your drug history, your medical history, and your previous um, clinical history as well, and make sure that the items that I'm injecting into you or that I'm using on your skin don't interact with your medications or with your lifestyle as well. Excellent. So what sort of techniques do you specialise in here? Um, the skin rejuvenation techniques um, include chemical peels. They can be used anywhere on the body. Um, so if you have scars, blemishes, acne, psoriasis yeah. or anything along that kind of nature, then we can go for a whole regime of peeling until we get the kind of skin that you're wishing for. Um, and then also the injectables, that includes your dermal fillers and your Botox. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think that these procedures are just for cosmetics, but you can use Botox in your underarm to help stop excessive sweating. And your dermal fillers, if you've got scarring or pitting, especially on your face, you can fill that so that it helps you feel better about yourself as well. Yeah. So it does increase your confidence. Yeah, excellent. So for those people who are not quite sure about, you know, some people might be quite hesitant about yeah. Botox and chemical skin peels, yeah. um, what would you say to them in terms of if they're thinking about it, Okay. what sort of things would they well, need to, to sort of consider? I do offer a free consultation, no obligation right. consultation, so come in and speak to me, we'll go through all of your worries and concerns, if you're not happy with what you hear or it's not something that's quite what you're looking for at the moment, then that's fine, it means that you're not ready for any treatment, but at least you've looked into it and seen whether it's something that you'd like to have done yeah. and if you do want to have something done then we'd book you in at a later stage if you're not quite ready at that particular right. stage okay. so and tell us a little bit about the, the people that you're working with I mean is it quite a broad range is it men and women it is men and women yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely more men are coming into this kind of aesthetics field and they're looking yeah. into it a lot more now than what they used to um, and the women tend to age from mid-twenties up until 60 or 70. So there's quite a big age range there. Mm -hmm. uh, I tend to find a lot of brides and grooms coming into the field. They're yeah. wanting to look their very, very best before they get married. Yeah. So we do take care of you and make sure that you look absolutely perfect before your wedding day. And if somebody was thinking about how often they need to come, what mm -hmm. would a typical sort of regime before okay well if you're having peels you're looking at monthly ideally um, if you're having Botox then it's a minimum of every three months mm -hmm. um, and if you're looking at dermal fillers normally every six months right. so these are procedures which you would need to continue to come and have if you wish to yeah. um, and they're not not permanent at all right. so for those who are concerned at least you know that if you're not quite happy with the result it will wear off yeah, okay. okay, brilliant. So what are your aspirations for the business then, Jazz? You know, where, where are you going to be in a year or five years? What, well, looking forward? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we've moved into the clinic and I'm very happy here. We moved in in March. Um, and all of that's happened within a year of me really setting up the business. So the progression's good so far. At the moment, I'm happy here, but I would like to expand into Nottingham area and Nottinghamshire. Mm -hmm. um, and let everybody in Derbyshire know where I am as well. So it's not yeah. just for people that are in Derby. If you want to travel a bit further, and come and see me you're more than welcome as okay. well okay Brilliant. so now um, we always ask this so if you've got one great tip mm -hmm. for, for a business or a startup business yeah um, 
What would that be? What okay. would you advise people to do? For me, it would be make sure your customers look af- looked after. It's yeah. all about the customer service. Yeah. I found that through all my advertising or other types of advertising that I've gone down or promotion, it's word of mouth that works best. Yeah. So if you take care of your customers, they will take care of you and they will come back again. Oh.